Whether it is social media or your financial data, many of us secure access to this using a password. However, with constant attacks from hackers and cyber criminals, these passwords can be exploited easily. So today I will show you a trick in creating really simple passwords that can withstand the strongest of attacks. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's take a look at how exactly criminals and hackers are breaking our passwords. Due to that there are tons of ways in which someone can bypass security, here are the top 3 methods hackers typically use. The first one is brute force. This method involves using some sort of software to rifle through as many combinations of words and numbers to generate possible passwords. This is the longest method but ensures all possibilities are explored. The second method is dictionary attack, which is much faster however less successful as the attacker must run through your login credentials against a massive list of known possible passwords. The good news for you is if you have a password that's unique, this method can be prevented. Now the last method is social engineering and general unsafe practices. This can be anything from using your Facebook friends to gain access to your account, to finding your logins on a piece of paper behind your dresser. We will address this issue later on in this video so stay tuned. Now that we are aware of these methods, it's time to start using the new technique I developed. The main idea is to create a password that is long enough and unique enough to bypass dictionary and brute force attacks, yet simple enough to remember easily. To show an example, here's a simple yet powerful password I created. As you can see, it's quite simple yet really long. The longer the password, the longer it takes to crack in brute force attacks. For hackers, this is a nuisance, but for us, it's beneficial. Now let's break it apart. Starting off, I used the base word Facebook, but substituted the first letter for a capital F, and changed the A to a number 4. This alone helps meet requirements for general websites when registering your password. However, it alone is not secure enough as this phrase in particular is on dictionary lists available online. Here comes the interesting part. As most of you may have noticed, there is a crazy amount of money symbols after the phrase. This is used to fill out the password to a specified length. I did this to ensure our password is at least 20 characters long, and this is very important. I'll come back to this subject later on. Now for the final touch, the last exclamation mark. The last character is added to make the password unique to you, and ensures if anyone does see you spamming that one character on your keyboard 20 times, at least you will have the end changed. So what exactly have we just done? Well we have followed basic safe password principles, but added something very important, middle garbage. The idea of adding random or unimportant characters in the middle of the password is very important as this alone prevents or slows down brute force attacks at an impressive scale. It transforms our regular passwords into super beast passwords which can stand against most computers. This idea of lengthening our passwords will not necessarily stop all hacking attempts, but definitely strengthen your accounts against most common threats. Now for the social engineering measures. In this day and age, there are millions of social media platforms and staying secure in all of them is quite difficult, especially when attackers are using these websites to gain access to your private data. They can do many different methods such as using friends accounts to exploit data to pretending to be that long lost ant who really wants your bank info. The last and final trick to prevent these attacks is quite simple, don't post sensitive data. Ultimately the best way to prevent an attacker from stealing your info is to not have any info to give them. Now you may be thinking, did I just say not use any websites and post any information online? Not quite. What I am saying is you shouldn't always have your accurate data online, especially on social media platforms. An example is I could create a Facebook account that says I live in Germany. Since it is such a generic location, it is not of much use. However, when users post exact locations and say, hey, I'm in Berlin right now, away from home, at 3.45 p.m., this definitely attracts attention. Overall, it's best to not include every bit of detail about you online unless you know for certain your information is being placed in the proper hands. Due to the complexity of social engineering and the extent some attackers may go, the only preventative measure to ensure no compromised data is to not have any sensitive data at all. This video was created in effort of Privacy Awareness Month, and I hope some of these tricks may be of benefit to you. If you like this video and would like to see my future videos, click right here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, feel free to explore the tiles to see more videos on science and DIY. Thank you and have a great day.